adventure, man of adventure, conquering the world, conquering the world, the world of adventure, the world of adventure. Oh, hello there. I'm Arthur Bourne. And welcome to another exciting documentary in the vein of Subway, The Quest for Sandwiches. Now, I get a lot of fan mail, most of it asking for my phone number or home address. And I'm afraid that I can't give that out because I am a registered sex offender in 57 states. Now, Arthur, you might say, there's only 50 states in the Union of the United States, to which I would reply, shut up, you're an idiot. Of course, there are 57 states if you count different states, being. Which brings me to the topic of today's show, hipsters. Hipsters were first discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1492 when he was searching for a trade route between North and South Dakota. He didn't find it because, as any geography student knows, none exists. However, he did find a valley where hipsters had evolved from men, replete with strange sights, sounds, smells, and music, where cigarettes were used as currency, and where everybody was very very stupid. Now what is a hipster? Many of you ask. However, the answer is dark and mysterious and filled with overtones of intense personal danger. Hipsters are the darkest side of man's subconscious, wearing knit sweaters, drinking expensive beer, and uh, you know, coffee. Hipsters are something that we will go in search of today on my show. And it will be entertaining, because I say it is. The first stop on our journey into the hipster is Savors, a store local to the Austin area known for supplying clothing and other sundries to the hipster population. Although non-hipsters are allowed inside, technically, you must tread lightly to avoid offending one of the powerful chieftains who wanders its halls. Even the slightest misstep could mean that my head would be smashed with a rock and my innards turned into cigarettes. Okay, Nathan, are you ready? You ready? Yeah. We're going in. Try to keep up. Come back alive. Bad boys! Bad boys! Bad boys! Bad boys! Okay, we find ourselves in the hipster inner sanctum. Somewhere around here, and I can smell it. I know that those of you at home are at a disadvantage, but I can smell sweater vests. It's terrible. Wait, there's scarves over there. And ironic trucker hats. <sighs> Turn the camera off. Just scant minutes into our first tour into Savers. An amazing discovery. Hillary Duff 2004 tour t-shirt. A hipster will be seen wearing this shirt, but not because they actually support the good Christian music of Hillary Duff, but because they think that it's ironic. Okay, put the camera. I must warn some of them are squeamish viewers that what you are about to see is intensely disturbing. This is a sweater vest. Hipsters wear them to attract mates and also to display their prowess in combat. Have I mentioned lately that hipsters are extremely stupid? Oh, God. First invented by Sir Francis Drake in 1349, the sweater vest was originally designed as an alternative to light, safe chainmail. However, since Sir Francis Drake was recently hit by a horse and buggy and got a bad case of brain damage, they protect you from nothing and are extremely unfashionable. That, that, that is the kind of clothing that you would want to wear. Yeah, that is, that is great clothing to put on your body. That doesn't look stupid at all. Yeah, I, I wish I could say that this was fake, folks, but this is all terrifying. Okay, we're out of sweat, I guess. Okay, okay, 
get a grip, Arthur. Come on. Okay. Dude, I can't feel my left arm. Okay. We need to get away from the sweater vest. I am extremely terrified right now. There is a hipster right behind me. Might be a king. I saw his ironic Budweiser shirt. I don't know quite how to deal with it. Also, I think I may have had a heart attack when I was looking at the sweater vests. My cameraman, Nathan, refuses both to get me pills or leave the store, and his pay will be docked accordingly. However, I did find this U-Force add-on for the NES Entertainment System, which allows you to get in the game by putting your hand in it like this. So, I guess I'm two for two today. Okay, he's going around the building. We have found actual pipster in heat. You can tell that they're in heat when their hair gets these frosted tips. That means that they want to start boning things, and they're not going to rest until they can. It's in his car. Let's just act like we're filming you. Okay. Um. He's in, in the car, tinted windows. Yeah, he's got tinted windows. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I really wish you could see him. He looked like a total. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There you go. It's 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 like it's like catching it's like catching Bigfoot. Well, it, it's a little easier than catching Bigfoot because hipsters, by uh, by definition, are kind of attention whores, whereas Bigfoot keeps to himself and is kind of a quiet, reserved guy. But. You know, it, it is difficult to catch them on film without having them charge, which is the uh, the difficult thing. Right, stay in the shot. Like, I just, it's really amazing. It makes, gives me faith as a documentarian. When we get something like this, we get an amazing segment of natural life caught on film. It just makes me feel lightheaded. Makes my left arm tingle. This is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. We have actually caught a real hipster on film. A hipster in heat, too, you can tell because their hair tips become frosted. Apparently, it's the mating season. They hate it when people film them during the mating season. I have a feeling that when we venture into the spider house, things are going to get ugly. Although hipsters have been eating rocks and soiling themselves for countless years, they have only recently moved into cyberspace. The first hipster to take advantage of the internet was Samuel Davis Blogg, who quickly founded a service known as MySpace, through which hipsters could hook up, get together, and, uh, talk about bizarre shit. We now move into that edifice. This is a typical hipster blog. Let's dissect the elements that compose it. This one is hosted at MySpace, and it belongs to a hipster chieftain known as Taylor Rodrak. His name translates into He Who Walks With Morrissey. Let's look at the components that go into this facile hipster construction. First of all, and perhaps most importantly, is the area where you can view pictures... Oh my god, the server's too busy.